Will Ant-Man have gigantic box office revenue? Or will it have ant-sized? Yeah, I went there. I went there. Hey guys, welcome to Think About It Reviews. And I just saw Ant-Man in 3D. I had to watch it in 3D. Why? Because I was the only showing where there was no standard at that time. So I had to watch it in 3D. And RPX, RPX, you know, I love RPX. But listen, guys, 3D, it, it does nothing for this film. It did nothing for me. <laughs> I hate 3D. All right, let's continue. So Ant-Man stars Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas, Corey Stahl, uh, Eva, Evangeline Lilly. There we go. Evangeline Lilly from, you know, the Hobbit films. She's she's pretty smoking hot. In here, though, I mean, she's pretty good. You know, she, she's been, oh, she got a butt. Well, anyway, um, I got to say, this film going into it, I didn't have, you know, high expectations. And I didn't have low expectations. I was, like, right in the center. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go watch it, see how it goes. I mean, we all know Edgar Wright's departure Get that out of the way. Just get it out of the way. It's done. We don't need to be talking about it. We don't need to say, uh, well, what if he did this? It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Just go into it. Watch the film. Try to enjoy it. You know, or if you, you know, just, just go with the open mind. All I have to say. So I went in with an open mind. And I came out saying it was okay. It was an okay film. There's a lot of problems with it, but there's a lot of good things about it. So I'm a little bit mixed on this film. I mean, structure-wise, uh, structure, you know, the flow of the script, the flow of the movie was just really kind of not that great, honestly. Um, and the script itself was, I, one word would describe it, and that's generic. I heard that a lot of people were loving the script. Of course, they did a lot of rewrites. And uh, it just, it was generic. It was generic, but, you know, there are some things that worked about it. I will, I think the casting was great. I think Paul Rudd is great as Scott Lang. I think him as Ant-Man is great. I think Michael Douglas as Hank Pym is great. I think Yvonne, uh, Yvonne, <laughs> Lily, I'm just going to say Lily. I think Lily was great uh, as Hope. As you know, to, to let you guys know about the film, basically, Hank hires Scott to steal this suit or because Corey Stahl's character he plays what the hell's his name Cross he plays Cross he develops a suit he was he was a pretty much a protege of Hank he was a student and he took over and he's creating the suit he's creating you know he's mastered the Hank particles where you could have a normal beam and Bring them into ant size proportions, but yet he, that ant size proportion still has the same strength. Strengths like he can still punch people. He's still very much, um, even though he's small, he still has the attributes and stuff of a normal human being. Uh, even maybe even stronger. So the Hank particles goes a long way, and especially the suit. So Hank knows um, that basically cro uh, Cross Corstall is he. This this is dangerous. This is not people should not have this kind of technology. Should not have this suit. Should not have the Hank particles. So he has. So Hank is even like he's he doesn't he's gone. Like they kicked him out of his basically his own freaking building. He's gone. So basically they have him, or he wants Scott to steal this suit and this and that. And when we have Scott with his story, gets out of jail. He's an ex convict, uh, ex heist convict. Um, He's a good hearted convict, though. And then, like, you know, uh, he gets Scott to join, you know, to help him out. And then you have, uh, you know, Scott with his daughter situation and his uh, ex and uh, her fiance. And then you have also Hank with his daughter. And they're not in mutual grounds, really, so to speak. I can't really reveal too much. I'll reveal more on the spoilers. But you got to think of this as basically a father and daughter type film. There's that heart there. 
However, the editing and the direction, sometimes the direction, the action sequences were not that great because of the camera work. The camera work was just kind of all over the place. Like it, it just didn't feel right. Like there was like I, how I always say, bring it the camera back a little bit. Let the audience see what's going on. Uh, sometimes the action sequences were kind of just all over the place. It was kind of hard to like kind of see what was going on. But uh, some action sequences were really great. This movie was only going to work if the comedy was top notch. And the comedy was not really great. I was in a the theater. Maybe there was a, there was actually a couple really good laughs. Like you, you watch this film. But overall the comedy just doesn't work. It, it just falls apart towards like... Well, it doesn't fall apart, but it, it just doesn't hit you. It's more like chuckling than laughing. And even the chuckles, I think I got more chuckles out of the Avenger films and all the other films and the Iron Man films than this film. This film just, you would think the comedy would work, but it didn't work as it's supposed The execution in this film just didn't live, it, it didn't work. The execution was not good in this film. Uh, the audience was like barely laughing. They're not really even laughing, even general audience. They're like, huh, you know. I thought Michael Pena is awesome. I love Michael Pena. He needs more work. I thought he was... he. Every time he comes into film, he's always funny. If you've seen him in Fury, he's actually a funny funny guy. He definitely has that... He oozes out, like, tr not charming, but, you know, he, he brings the party to life. Now, uh, Paul Rudd, I think Paul Rudd did a great job. You know, I think he did a great job for what he was given. I think he needs a director that really could get him to do a little bit more, you know, just get him more into it because I feel like Paul Rudd, when he was in the Ant-Man suit, uh, it was kind of like, like a video game, you know, you're just kind of voice acting like, oh, damn, I'm doing it. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you know, we got Scott Lang and he was interacting with, you know, Hope and Michael Douglas, Hank and, you know, his daughter and stuff. It just felt like, um, a direct, he needed a director to really get in there and say, no, 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 no. Listen, Paul, I need you to do this, 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 um, but it, it, but I think the casting of Paul Rudd is still good. I like he seems you know he he's the kind of guy I would like to root for, and I did root for him in this film. Even though the stuff about you know he's doing it for his daughter and everything, I've seen it a thousand times, and it wasn't just executed or wasn't good in this film. I was like, oh, get it over, whatever. Now Hank, I love the casting of Michael Douglas, and I think Michael Douglas is perfect for Hank. I think he does definitely. Has that he has that presence there. He has that that you know just just watching him interacting with Scott and Hope and even Cross. Like sure the script was goofy, sure things didn't work out, but seeing Michael Douglas on the big screen is like you know what I like this guy as Hank. I like him in this Marvel universe, so I would love to see more of him in the future. Uh, in the future. So I thought Michael Douglas did a great job. Uh, Lily did a great job as Hope. Whatever she was given. Um, there's more on her on the spoiler talk. And as Corey Stoll as Cross was just a cookie cutter villain. He really reminded me of Lex Luthor from, you know, Superman Returns. It, it was Kevin Spacey to me. He was Kevin Spacey to me. I just really, he's a little bit crazy in a film, but he just, he was just like, it was for laughs, honestly. It was just like, you know, a, it felt like a parody of a villain like he really just he was really cartoonish too it just i did not feel his villain i did not feel his motivations i didn't feel his you know wanting of michael douglas you know to acknowledge him it, it just didn't work for me in the film the soundtrack was not very memorable honestly uh it wasn't terrible but it wasn't memorable and you want the soundtrack to be very memorable and i thought it just wasn't the editing like i said was just really just clunky it really the editing did no justice for this film especially the training session where i felt like everything was just like erupted it cut abruptly through like they're supposed to hit with these jokes but the jokes weren't hitting because of the editing i think the editing needed to just like you know let it let it breathe but it wasn't like it's like the editing was like had its hand on your throat and like uh, uh, oh you like that part oh, i'll let you breathe a little bit no 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 I, I felt like the editing was just very jarring sometimes and very clunky uh especially with the cut sequences and uh some of the sequences too with the close-ups and stuff like it, it just didn't feel like right it didn't feel like this it was a smooth transitions to a lot of these scenes 
but what I really did like, though, was the use of the ants it, themselves. I thought the ants were great, you know, how they were used by Scott Lang and Hank Pym. I loved the suit. I thought the suit was great. I thought Yellow Jacket suit was great. Uh, I also like, yeah, I thought the suit was really great, actually. I thought, you know, that you can't, if you look at the suit in the comics, it's so goofy. And Ant-Man, the movie, it's a goofy, you know, <laughs> it's a goofy concept. But, you know, I like the concept as well. I like this char character of Ant-Man. I want to see more of him. I want to see him more with the Avengers. Because I think Paul Rudd, Ant-Man, you know, Scott Lang, I think people would like to see uh, Hank Pym, that origin story. I would love to see Hank Pym's origin story. I think Ant-Man is an interesting character. He definitely has a unique look to him. He has unique powers. So I think Ant-Man as a character is really good. But I think they need to handle this like they handled Captain America. Where Captain America, this is what I would, this is what I would compare it to, is the first Captain America movie. Where I liked it, but I knew there was problems with it. And I think I liked the little Captain America a little bit more. I'm not sure. Every time I try to rewatch it, though, it's kind of... I can't watch through the whole thing. But I think... Uh, the sequel could definitely be super polished and definitely you could take this character somewhere else. Um, that's really all I got without spoiling anything, honestly. But the film did, you know, did I enjoy it? Yes, I did. Do I recommend it? That's the real question. And you know what? I do. It's not a terrible Marvel movie. You're not going to get Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought this would be like a Guardians of the Galaxy and I thought it would just turn everybody's heads upside down, but it did not do that. Um, but it's not by all means a bad film. It's not the worst Marvel film and it's not the best Marvel film. It's like right there in the middle, smack in the middle where you will get enjoyment out of it towards the end, especially the lot of the end sequences. There is an end credit after the credits are done and there's also a post credit and there's little cameos here and there and little references that are really awesome. So especially with, there's a Spider-Man reference, but I want you guys to watch it and you know, uh, this movie, with all the problems that were going on behind the scenes, it did, you know, it, you, it, it, I guess, with all the problems, it, it did accomplish my, me enjoying it, but I didn't overly enjoy it, I, I just enjoyed it, so, I do recommend it, though, I mean, if you love Marvel, if you love the Marvel movies, if you, you know, been been at this since day one with Iron Man. I think you will enjoy Ant Man. I think a lot of people would love this film. Actually, I think a lot of people will love the film, um, especially the high sequence. The high sequence was were, were was pretty good. I really like the high sequence. That's why I say the use of the ants too. Um, but yes, I think people would really love this film. I do recommend this film, and I think people are some people will just really hate this film. So there's going to be a mix on this film as well. It'll be like a Jurassic World type deal, but not overly loving it and overly hating it. Um, just like right there kind of in the middle so thank you guys for listening and that's, that's my recommendation i mean i i recommend you watch Ant man I, I think it was a fun time but if you want to wait till red box by all means it's up to you i mean this is why it's called think about it reviews i don't try to convince you not to watch it if you're gonna go watch it you're gonna go watch it i just want to hear you guys opinions so if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you like it, and comment below, and I will answer all your guys' questions. So, thank you guys for listening, and like I always say, grab a tick, grab a seat, make sure you got some good popcorn. Eat. I'll see you at the cinema. See you guys.